What's going on my kings, my queens, and my in-betweens? What's going on my Sagittarius? It's your good sis, Lava the Empress. And for those who are new to my channel, I give that spiritual tea and see what's going on in your life. What kind of advice I can give to you at this time. Now, for those who are not new, I am not at home right now. I am still on vacation. I do not have all of my equipment. So I am holding the phone. So if the video comes out a little shaky, disregard it. Just know that um, the messages at hand are more important. And these messages will be regarding what to expect this month, what, it, what advice I can give to you for the month of August. Okay, make sure you hit that subscription button because it's free and because I'm lit like that. And also leave a comment in the comment section below of this video, not on Facebook, this video and let me know what resonates. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into it. Also, let me just say one more thing. If you hear noise in the background, talking, walking down and up the stairs, like I said, I am not home, but I'm on this channel. We make a way out of no way, okay? So without further ado, Let's see what to expect for the month of, wow, for the month of August. With the devil being in the middle of the spread here for the tarot deck, I'm hearing a lot of holding on, okay? Holding on, you need to release this toxic whatever this is that's toxic and that is keeping you stagnant somebody broke your heart it could have been a gemini or an or an aquarius i'm hearing somebody that got air in their chart or a taurus or a capricorn so one of those signs but um this could be a twin flame but something like you met somebody that it's really going well or it was going well but then it's it ends up not being successful they end up not being who they say they are they end up being very detached and cold towards you and it made you take a detached and cold um stance on this okay maybe you guys are dealing with past hurt still and that's why you are taking more of a logical approach when it comes to your next steps but what i'm seeing here for the month of august is just is more like a warning if this hasn't happened already be mindful who you're giving your energy to okay and how much you're giving even though there is some sexual chemistry here there's a lot of attraction here you don't want to end up feeling like you're stuck or bound to somebody that does not really care about how you feel okay or is not really emotionally expressive here definitely air in their chart let's move on to the messages finances and career could be affecting your love life at this time also religious factors there's a major difference between what you believe and what this person believes as far as religious beliefs or whatever the case may be i feel like my sagittarius are more spiritual and you may be coming across somebody who is not really into that side that you're in you could be a little witchy um Spirit is saying for this month, clearly decide what you want so that you can receive it. But I'm seeing finances and career being your main focus because the in the love department, it's just all it's out of control. I'm not going to lie. It's all over the place. You found someone that you can create balance with, but it's not working out or it hasn't been working out or it did not work out. You take it how it resonates. I'm reading to more than one of you, but this needs time here. Okay. And I feel like you are healing for this month, healing and getting your finances in order. Yeah, very narcissistic. Yeah, this person does not really care about how you feel. So you may have came across somebody who is self-absorbed and you felt like this was a one-sided relationship here. This could have happened in the past or this is happening now. Hmm. Yeah, reminiscing keepsake, you may have been thinking about all the good times that has occur occurred in this relationship. Like I said, you guys could be twin flames. You guys had balance before, so you may have been dwelling on that, and it's been keeping you stuck where you don't need to be, Sagittarius. 
But there's a lot of learning from the past that are ha that's happening with you in the month of August here. There's a lot of learning and healing. And look, that will lead to your abundance. So Spirit is saying, keep a positive mindset right now so that you can manifest. It says, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And then we have manifest exactly what you want. So there's a lot of coming into terms with what it is that you need, Sagittarius, to make you better, make you feel better, make you feel like you deserve to be here because a lot of you feel like you don't have a purpose or a lot of you feel like you are very lost when it comes to gaining this abundance here but I feel like you need to clearly decide what it is that you want to do and who you want to do it with and it's okay to do it by yourself let's get some more messages so we have forgiveness. You guys have to learn how to forgive. Forgiveness is in reverse. You got. You have to learn how to forgive what has already happened. If this already happened to you, if this heartbreak, this pain, these people that come into your energy take from you, but do not reciprocate it, you have to forgive that and move forward from that here. Yeah, you having a hard time forgive, forgiving this month, but you have to release it here. Spirit is saying no, and this is like a hell no here. If this is um, regarding to somebody in your past and you want to know if they're ever coming back or whatever the case may be, I feel like this person is not going to serve your highest good right now. So there's something else that you need to focus on for this month. I'm not going to say whether or not they're coming back or not because I don't know. But what I can say is that they cannot, they should not be your focus this month. They should not be your focus this month. Now is not the right time, Spirit is saying. Now is not the right time to be focusing on their asses. Now is the time to focus on your finances, on your career, and focus on what it is that you need. Manifest exactly what you need so that it can come to you. Helpful people here, if you feel like you don't have help, email me because I can help. But also, you have people that are going, that spirit is going to put, God is going to put in your path to help you. Maybe you guys are having a hard time asking for help. Ask for help this month. It is okay and it is safe for you to ask for help. There is something better here, Spirit is saying. So now is not the right time, or it hasn't been the right time for a while in the love department or even in finances, but that's because you have to learn what it is that you want. Maybe you guys are, you're almost there, but you're not really on the path that you need to be on in order to receive that abundance here. But there is something better. There is better days coming here. So if this is involving a person that you was stuck on that broke your heart or whatever the case may be, know that there is something better, someone better coming in your energy. I know I cannot change the past here. And that's why you're having a hard time to forgive here. Because some of you are feeling a little regretful. Release that regret for this month is not going to serve you. You cannot change the path, the past. What you can change is your steps moving forward, your perspective moving forward. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation here. Yeah, a, a lot of you are capable of seeing both sides of, of the situation already. And that's also probably what has you stuck and feeling bound because maybe you feel like you understand or maybe you don't understand and there is a need to understand why this had to happen to you. So you will be coming into terms with that for this month. Indecision here, yeah. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Some of you are not using your intuition and it's causing you to be very indecisive. Hold on, please. And continuing, sorry sorry for that. But like I said, um, you guys are definitely probably struggling with knowing what path you really need to take right now. Okay? And you need to release this indecision that you've been suffering with because... Mainly it's because you're not really listening to your intuition. You're, you're uh, doubting your own intuition because I feel like you made some decisions that you thought was working for you in the past and it turns out that it did not work the way you wanted it to work. So now you're blaming yourself. Don't blame yourself 
forgive yourself and forgive that person so that you can move forward here your advice listen spirit wants you to know that you are beautiful okay some of you have some insecurities that you are going to be working through this month you are beautiful okay and yeah you have to come to that understanding within yourself and know that you are deserving know that you are deserving okay yeah this door had to shut for you whatever this is whoever this person is this aquarius libra gemini or this capricorn or whatever the case may be yeah this door had to close on you so that you can see the beauty within yourself and understand what it is that you really need because this person is incapable of giving you what you really need okay and maybe you guys want to belong look at that we have 40 41 43 you guys are going to be taking steps okay these are slow steps like i said things need time but you are taking steps okay be confident in that know that you are going to be on that right path once you learn how to forgive yourself and release that regret then you'll be able to make those better decisions this month Look at that movement forward for your last card here. You guys are taking the steps. You are moving forward here. Some of you are actually moving. It's a physical move. Maybe you're moving to a different part of the town, different state, whatever the case may be. But there is movement here in August to expect. And I feel like there's a lot of passion, okay? There's a lot of passion when it comes to love. But you have to be passionate within yourself first. Also, there will be some type of success. So if you've been working hard at something, um, expect that reward. Expect that reward this month here. But you need to decide. You need to make a choice on your path here. And I feel like you guys are blinded or blindfolded right now because you don't know what path to take. But you will be finding it out. You will be having clarity. And that's what I have for you for the month of August. If that resonated in any type of way, let me know in the comment section below. It's your good sis, Lava the Empress, and I'll see you in your next video. Bye, Sagittarius. Sorry. <laughs>